Okay guys, so we're here in the park. We're gonna do some speed workouts. What we're working on is acceleration today. We have an athlete who is a field sport guy. He's a baseball player. Um, we're getting into, these are longer accelerations. So the most that you'll see normal field sport athletes accelerate for is about 30 yards. And that's about what he can accelerate well out to. So that's where we're taking it. And then we're gonna start to introduce a little bit of top speed with some flying sprints. Um, they're longer buildups and not a super long run, just about 20 yards, but it's, uh, it's good to introduce it like that. He's been doing some speed endurance with tempos, and now we kind of see it on the field, so let's go do it. We always start on these things slow to fast. So even when we start going, when we start running faster, you'll see that we do a very gradual increase in speed so that we're sure everyone's prepped. I know it's sunny out, but it's a little cool, so it's gonna make our warm-up process even a little bit longer. Yeah, they started descending. Yeah, they started. Watch your back, Kate. Little baby. Okay, so this is the long, arduous job of a coach in walking. All right, so we don't have set distance, but I can do this with my feet. All he's gonna do is now that we're starting to get into the speed stuff he's gonna take these are walk-ins and then they're eventually gonna become jog-ins and then I'll probably have him do a couple where he does like one or two skip steps but it's just to give him a little bit more momentum to work with I don't like to start with hard starts uh, he's also a field athlete he's a baseball player so we don't need to do a whole lot of hard starting but I just want to give you a little context for what we're doing smooth the whole point of this stuff is when you start out the acceleration a lot of people want to fight and they want to muscle it and it's very hard especially if you have a stronger guy uh, to get them to not do that so I like to take easy like skip in little jog in accelerations to get it going and then I'll let them start stationary and then it also gives them more time more repetitions to get super hot a lot of people when they they go into sprinting they get a lot of hip flexor in, in, in top of quad strain and we want to make sure that we don't have that because the the heart of it you know it's like you have to work around that stuff and it can be a little difficult okay. same thing just just same same exact shit maybe a little faster once you get one big thing with daniel and maybe we'll see maybe we won't is he will get a little behind himself or i guess a little in front of himself and start kicking his butt in his acceleration and that's not that's not what we want for this so we just gotta watch him these are just gonna be falling starts for 20 so same distance okay just from here so, yeah just from the we'll go from the ball to the cup easy falling we're gonna do three per set so we'll go We'll go three by 20 by two, all right? And it's gonna, again, be a long rest period. It's gonna be two minutes in between them, all right? But, uh, this is 95% if you've got it. If you feel good, do it. Yeah. If you don't, do like 90%. Just get the reps in, but if you feel great, let them fly. You know? All right, let's do it. So, the high falling start is good because you do get, a, it's a pretty static at the start, but you get a little bit of momentum in the fall. But a lot of people make mistakes. They, they like to start out almost, they've already fallen, right? And the big deal with this is it also helps you find the right departure angle. So the right angle where you're gonna start to accelerate. Uh, if you start here already, you've, you've already kind of gotten there. So we start upright in about a quarter squat height stance, and then we fall. When we feel it, here we go, okay? Let's 
So it took us a long time to get him to drive perfect. Now he drives really well. So he's got the elasticity. That's not going anywhere. Now he's got drive and elasticity. Salsa time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> All he needs is a fucking mustache. He, he gets into his acceleration very, very well. You can tell that by the end, he's still accelerating, right? But he doesn't rush his drive. So in the very beginning, you have a little longer ground contact, but that's where strength matters a little bit. Your foot's on the ground long, so you, can, you have a little more time to push. By the time he gets down there, he's still leaned out, but it's pretty soon, maybe another 10 yards after that, he's gonna come upright and he's gonna start pinging. He's got all that speed and all that momentum that he can ping with and really hit a nice high, high top speed. the more it changes, right? So the early one is about driving and strength, and this one becomes about, can I produce a lot of force uh, at a faster ground contact time? So what you're watching is him trying to stay in a drive position, so staying in acceleration, but each step has gotta be faster and stronger than the one prior to maintain acceleration. Uh, and you can see that he's not popping up, he's just driving out the whole way. He's close, you know, maybe another five or six yards, he's gonna start coming up on his own, but. We want to make sure that he just keeps in that phase, so we just extended it out about another 30 feet. Give it another shot. Secret is saying relax. Secret is saying relax. It's smoking weed on the track, dude. What we're working on is a little bit more top end speed mechanics. He actually has not done a whole lot of these yet. This is kind of the first day when we're starting to re-implement them. Uh, he has in prior phases and prior cycles. But this is how we would introduce it. So he's done a lot of tempo work for speed endurance in, in that position, but now we're, we're out. I'm not gonna put him on the pingy hot surface yet because again, I kind of want to limit his speed. These are little details. There's a little bit of a wind coming into our face. So I want to make sure that I have him running against it so it like kind of limits him a little bit and that's just for hamstrings and stuff like that so we always want to take care of the guy All right, guys, we're done. That was it. So you've seen the whole thing. Uh, nice to get out on the track and not be in the gym all the time. Um, you always want to take advantage of the warm weather, especially with speed work. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you have questions about anything, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more of us, hit that subscribe button so you get notifications on when we post. We're going to try to do these often, so uh, let's keep rolling.